This is a Panda Express Feast. Orange chicken. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at this side. Look at this side, yeah. Mmm. Chinese takeout at home. This isn't even Panda. I try to get it to taste just like it, but it's a hundred times better. It's, it's so, so much better and it's homemade. So you know what's exactly in your product. You guys didn't think I was just gonna gloss over telling you guys about me and Chris. Who is ready? I don't even know if we'll be able to trick or treat. I'm so sad about that. Who is ready for Halloween? Who is ready for the fall? I'm so excited. Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we're making a Panda Express feast or my Panda Express order. And uh, I'm super excited about this. This one, it was so, so good. So I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna be starting off with the chicken thighs and you guys already know why, because they are juicier. So I'm just going to trim the fat on them and then cube them up. After I'm done cubing them up, I'm gonna make the marinade for this. I've made this on the channel before. I thought I'd revisit it. And um, turns out I needed to tweak some things in the recipe. So I'm doing egg white, pepper, cornstarch, salt, super simple. If you're worried that it's gonna taste like eggs, it's not gonna taste like eggs. It just provides like this coating around the chicken. You know that um, texture that Kung Pao chicken has, it's got like this silky texture that's from the eggs. And let that sit for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna make this sauce, and the sauce was basically a one to one to one ratio of hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and gochujang chili paste. I love this together with Kung Pao chicken, a lot of flavor, so definitely give it a try. Then I'm gonna cut my veggies for the Kung Pao chicken, which is zucchini, red bell pepper, onion. I cut them all about medium size so that they cook evenly. I'm gonna heat up a skillet, add some oil and the veggies, some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna saute that until it's translucent. Cooked a little bit, cause it's still gonna continue to cook when I add the chicken in. All right, now I'm gonna add the chicken and I'm gonna cook that thoroughly. Yes, I could have taken out the vegetables. Was I really thinking about it? No. The reason why you would take out the vegetables is so that the vegetables don't overcook while the meat is trying to cook. So make sure you take out your vegetables. Don't do what I did. So we're gonna put that aside and then we're gonna start the orange chicken, which is personally my favorite. Actually, all of it was my favorite. All of it was my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the best homemade takeout you'll ever have. So I'm gonna do some minced ginger and minced garlic and I'm, all, I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of ginger and I'm gonna use about a half a tablespoon of garlic. So to this bowl, I'm adding soy sauce, ketchup, brown sugar, chili flakes, chicken stock, and the extract. The brown sugar here is key because that is what's gonna caramelize and coat the chicken in this just like beautifully caramely orange sauce. Combine that, mix it up, and then we're gonna make the batter, which is pretty simple. It was flour, some cornstarch. You can see I didn't really measure. And then I had used club soda. I did not have regular generic club soda on hand, but I did find this Perrier, so this is some super fancy batter. Then you're gonna whisk that up, and don't forget your salt and pepper. Now I'm going to fry up the chicken, and you guys see how I'm floating it in and not just dropping it in. If you drop it straight in, it will stick to the bottom and it will be a disaster. Also another key thing what I do is I take out all of these little crumbs because I don't want those to burn and just cook it, cook it until it's like browned. Because there's cornstarch in here, it won't brown like is like you're frying chicken, but it, it should brown a little bit enough to, to tell that it's cooked through. Now I'm gonna heat up a pan and we're gonna cook the sauce. 
doing a little bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger. And then I'm just gonna cook that sauce until it caramelizes and you guys will be able to hear it and see it. Let it speak to you. It'll just, it'll be like bubbly, like the sugar is just bubbly and caramely and that's when it's ready to be coated. All right, now that that is coated, let's start on this honey walnut shrimp. I'm gonna be doing some egg whites. I'm gonna whip that and then add my cornstarch. And what that's gonna do is create that nice airiness that you get from that walnut shrimp texture. After I'm done doing that, I'm gonna add my shrimp in and it just is so pillowy and airy. Then I'm gonna add it to the fryer and I know this is gonna be very anticlimactic, but the fryer was at 350 and there was just no bubbles. And I think it was because I had it in the fridge and it was cold, but I floated in just like my chicken and then let it uh, cook and brown as much as it can. After I'm done frying them, I'm gonna make my walnuts and my walnut sauce. I'm just doing this a very quick way. I would not recommend doing this uh, way unless you are good with working with sugar. So I'm just gonna toast my walnuts under the broiler for about a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna melt some sugar, just sugar. And as soon as it's melted, I'm gonna toss my walnuts, set those to the side, and then break them apart later to toss with it. You don't have to do it that way, uh, but that was just a quick way. And then for my sauce, super simple. I'm using QP Japanese mayo. It's my new favorite mayo, uh, thanks to Sam the Cooking Guy, but it has more of like a richness. And then I'm gonna do some honey and condensed milk. So super duper simple. And then I'm just gonna toss it and then voila. All right, next I'm gonna be doing my fried rice. I'm just gonna be dicing. I couldn't find um, frozen, I couldn't find a pr frozen carrot and pea mixture. So I just diced up my own carrots and they were kind of fun to dice because they were just like these cute little cubes of carrots but you don't have to do this. You can just get frozen if you can find it in your frozen section. And then I'm just gonna chop up some onions the same size. So I put my oil down and I throw my scrambled eggs. This was one egg. I don't, you don't need a bunch of eggs. I feel like when you have too much eggs, it just kind of like takes over the dish. The same goes with the soy sauce. So I do some oil, I add my eggs. I scramble those for a quick little second and then I'm gonna add my carrots and my onions and cook those for a minute. After my carrots and onion, I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic and ginger together, cook it in some oil until it's fragrant. Then I'm gonna add my rice, saute that a little bit, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. You don't wanna add too much. If you add too much, it's gonna just be very, very overpowering. So like a little bit, I would start with like maybe a teaspoon, two teaspoons. I wouldn't say this was about two cups of cooked rice and I did about two teaspoons of soy sauce. Then I'm gonna add my frozen peas back in and my eggs and I'm just gonna saute that back up and incorporate it in a little salt and pepper. Don't forget your salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna be making my chow mein, which was also another one of my faves. And I think it's because of the, these noodles that I find at my Asian market. I have not found these at the store anywhere except for the Asian market. I'm gonna add a little oil and I'm gonna saute those. And as soon as those are sauteed until about translucent, I'm gonna add in my noodles and then heat those up, break them apart. And then I'm gonna add this mixture, which I did not show you, but it is basically soy sauce, hoisin and chicken stock.
and now I'm gonna make my I'm going to make the wonton which when you guys watch the mukbang part I ate a lot of them they were just so good I'm gonna cut up a jalapeno this is optional you don't have to do it you can take the seeds out as well but you guys know I love my spicy so I'm gonna cube that up and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of green onion don't do too much green onion because if you do a lot of green onion it'll be super overpowering so I got this clip on my other camera. I know this is weird, but I basically just did cream cheese, room temperature cream cheese. I added my onions, my jalapenos, and some honey. So I'm not gonna be doing imitation crab with this, but you are more than welcome to do that. I did not have any on hand, but these were so good. It didn't really even need it. And then I'm just gonna form them. A little egg wash and when you form these make sure you get all the air out and clamp it really good you do not want these blowing up in the fryer i had a couple blow up in the fryer because they were not sealed very well so And then that's it you guys um i'm just gonna add it to this little cute little takeout box that i got from dollar general this was probably like definitely one of my favorites it was super simple so i hope you guys try this and it was so so good like i was obsessed with this i would sell this plate it'd be lizzie lou's takeout um but look at that just looks so good anyway you guys i love you so much and i will see you in the mukbang part can't even tell you guys i got this huge new monitor in the front of my camera so it's like right there so i'm gonna try to anyway you guys welcome back to my channel do you guys see this spread this is a panda express feast okay i tried to recreate panda express again i did this i don't even know like several months ago and i left out one crucial thing and that was the walnut shrimp so today i made the walnut shrimp it's somewhere in here somewhere in here I like, ma I made so much stuff. <laughs> you guys, look at how much stuff I made. So I made the fried rice, I made the chow mein, the orange chicken, Kung Pao chicken, wontons, and the honey walnut shrimp. Now I've never had the honey walnut shrimp, so I'm just going to go off of just if it tastes good or if it doesn't. I'm not really feeling shrimp as of lately. I don't know why. I'm really, really excited to eat. Um, it was hectic today, you guys. I was running around because I'm also trying to film for, I'm also trying to film for TikTok now and it's hectic. Orange chicken. Mmm. Mm -mm. Look at the inside. Look at the inside. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bobby, you're eating like a maniac already. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh. Mm. Fried rice. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Let me get a walnut. Look at that. Look at that. With the pee on it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. I'm really not into shrimp right now, but that's good. The sauce and like the shrimp and the saltiness and sweetness, that's good right there, you guys. I'm not even talking to you guys. Let me take a couple more bites. Mmm, mm mm mm. Try not to get such a crispy one, but they're all pretty much crispy. Mmm. This is so good. I like smushed it in there. Bam. I can feel the filling. That's so good. Okay. This is so, so good. And it tastes identical. It tastes identical. This is one of my favorite recipes on the channel and I was just waiting to do it again. I was just waiting. That's good, you guys. Am I doing too much right now? I might be. So yeah, I'm trying to film now for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube so you guys can see me on any platform whenever you want. And I just wanna say it's proven to be a little bit of a challenge trying to use two cameras. I didn't realize how much work it would be to try to get like multiple angles for different platforms. The best thing about making these at home is that you get to have so many more. They, these are so expensive. These are it. You guys, this is probably, I know I say this, why do I say this all the time? But I do, because I actually mean it. This is probably, one of the most legit recipes I've done on the channel. My second time doing it, <clears throat> and I was going back on my first one and realizing that I talk too much. So when I was going back on my old recipe just to, just to kind of see how what I did and like what the recipe was, I was like, I talk way too much. I'm actually shocked that any of y'all sit through any of these videos because the recipe portion, I'm talking a lot. And then this portion, I'm not talking as much because I'm so full. I just got done running around like a madman, but <clears throat> it is well worth it to show you guys 
Chinese takeout at home. This isn't even Panda. I try to get it to taste just like it, but it's a hundred times better. It's, it's so, so much better and it's homemade. So you know what's exactly in your products, except for, you know, maybe the wonton wrappers. But other than that, you know exactly what it is. And you could, could you imagine? Oh my gosh, guys, think about this. Could you imagine if you made this for like a date night or like just like a girl's night or a boy's night and you, you came out with these, they'd be like, what is this takeout you got? Hello, I made it. That is so corny. <laughs> Could you imagine though, if you brought this out and was like, yeah guys, I just made this takeout. They'd be like, what? That is crazy. Cause it is like, look at that, that thing. That thing is packed. I feel more, I feel more like a test kitchen than an actual cook. I feel like a, I feel like a test kitchen cook, if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, anyway, you guys didn't think I was just gonna gloss over telling you guys about me and Chris. So, but if any of you guys were paying attention, he was actually in my sushi video. So he's been around for a while, you guys. Um, and I wanna say thank you to everybody who was showing love. You guys are super funny. Yes, he uh, got a lot thinner. <clears throat> I'll have him tell you what he did for his diet, but um, he got a lot thinner and he looks amazing. And so thank you to everybody who is who noticed that, obviously. But anyway, like I said, I'm so, you guys, he read all of your comments and um, he was smiling from ear to ear. So thank you guys for all your kind words. And um, maybe you guys will get a story time sometime soon. So most of the time I like to be private on this channel. You guys know that I don't open up very much because this is something hard for me to do. I don't know why, so I'm just a very private person. And so it's hard for me to open up, but I get that you guys kind of want to like come in and like come in in my life. Dude, who is ready for Halloween? Who is ready? I don't even know if we'll be able to trick or treat. I'm so sad about that. Who is ready for Halloween? Who is ready for the fall? I'm so excited. I'm about to do, this year has been so rough for everybody. I am just gonna make my home so Christmassy, so vibey, just everything about the holidays because that's what makes me feel the most happy and the most comfortable. So I'm gonna be going all out on Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. I don't even know if we'll be able to trick or treat, but I'm just gonna, everything. As soon as you walk in my house, oh, it's, it's just gonna be fall, Christmas. Anyway, you guys, I'm done. I am done for today. I wanna say thank you so much, you guys, for sticking out with me. And if you guys are still here, leave me some shrimp. Leave me some shrimp emojis. Oh, you guys couldn't even see the shrimp. That thing is hiding but in there. It's in It's in here. I like stuff. I stuff this plate. I stuff this. This is what you would want when you go to Panda Express. But if you guys are still here, leave me some shrimp emojis and I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah. Did I say I love you guys? Cause I love you. Cause I do. Cause I really do.